right okay divine feminines let's talk i've got a wet spot on my on my t-shirt and that's because i just i wasn't planning on coming on at all um actually i wanted to go and invest it's 14 14 um because i i felt such an it was such a beautiful energy putting out the divine masculines video beautiful energy like it was like really feeling I don't know, really proud, to be honest, for the masculines. And it spoke in that video about um, playing and getting out and being sporty and being around children. And do you know what comes to mind for me was like, it was like, I want to do that. I want to get kids together and get more vibrant. And, and it was like cheerleading. Being any masculine cheerleader really that's what being a feminine is it's supporting our men anyway so but let me talk about the video because especially if you're across the water in america you're going to be waking to this energy so i've picked up on this energy over the last couple of days and we've been talking about being you know a sorcerer and we create by intention it's like we speak this into creation. I stated it on yesterday's video. Let's speak this into creation. And then it happens and then panic sets in. And you want more details and you want to know this, that. Well, are they single? Are, <laughs> I don't think so. The questioning. And as soon as I... It seemed that as I was doing the reading, speaking it into intention, okay, and I've been working on this all morning, this masculine energy, it's 14, 14, that's really weird, because it was 14, 14 over there, which says 14, 16, and it's 14, 14, but gone to 14, 15. So, and that video I've just done, has been based on me trying to explain that messages are trying to come in, and that the feminines are sent out a siren call, I don't know. So the call sent out, the message is sent out, the energy changes. Like, immediately. Because when I turn my phone back on, um, I had a feminine already telling me that her DM was wanting to have lunch. Um... But she just, that was it. And then she said, but he just wants to be mates. And it, and it's like, so watch the masculine video. Because it's known without knowing. And I'm just like, can you just kind of calm down, please? Why do you need to know so much? Can you not just be present and watch it unfold? And it was a horrible, panicky energy and it drained me. And... It, I just felt like I wanted to go to sleep. And I thought, no, I actually want... Because there was a point I was actually, like, texting, shouting. And I said, I'm so sorry I'm shouting at you, but this is really serious. If we've asked for it, don't do this now. Um, it's like, okay. So what you've been wanting, a type of connection like that, you've been putting all your faith and belief in Divine and working on this for, I imagine, over a year... And then it comes, and you go, oh, well, I don't think so. And it's kind of like, I thought that's what you wanted. And you're going to question someone too soon. And you're going to scare them. And what was interesting, he was very playful. And he's very poorly. And he's very poorly. And he's reached out to his divine feminine, very playful, wanting lunch. Maybe a turn up with some flowers. And then you're considering whether to go, based on conditions, that it's kind of, what words are you putting into their mouth? Just because you don't know, 
but then you do know. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is, you know what this is. This is the universe offering it. It's the promised land. And that's just a journey of discovery. The abundance. King of Swords. You're thinking that the masculine is still really kind of in his head and hasn't changed. So it's moving on now. It's about letting the past go. Um, that has a lot of feminine energy there. Actually, now that the time's come, you actually just want to get in your boat, put your hood up and not deal with it. Feminines are running. Wow. Maybe we to be doing a reading like the masculines. Feminines are running. But I'm going to... The masculines reading come out a bit differently, so I'm just going with it. But that looks to me like the 1111 card. Looks like the universe is offering you the partnership. But you want to know the details. You know that's an apprentice energy. You'll scare someone. If the universe knows how this will unravel, why are you going to try and fuck it up now? Because it's a collective energy. We're in this together. Or are we not? If you decided you're not part of it now. Well, you know what will happen, because that's what happened to the masculines. Bit of a role reversal going on here. Expected. Right, let's just get some more. There's the planning card. I've just seen a butterfly fly outside, a white one. Um, two of Wands, the King of Swords, the Eight of Cups. That just shouts to me, I don't think so, I think he's planning elsewhere. And this moving on, I picked up a feminine energy. I'll show you them in a minute. Just because you don't know, you want to move on. And um, it's kind of like just not really seeing the harvest. Now, I picked up the person I was communicating with as soon as I... So it's like kind of the energy was working immediately. She was receiving the messages. I was still recording. I, 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 I still have to upload it, which takes really about the same amount of time it does to record. But it's kind of already happened as we were speaking, because I had to say, are you talking dream state or is this for real? It's like, have you been asked out on a date in dream state? No, for real. But the it wasn't, the feminine was not recognising what was happening. For one, because I hadn't watched the masculine's video. So that's kind of why I'm putting it out there, because you may wonder what's going on. So let's have a look at this, but... I just see the 1111 card here, okay? The universe is offering it. It's like it's time to go, actually, it's time to go through the arch there. It's like walk that path. Partnership, experience, not experience, compassionate, understanding, taking the time to listen. They're listening. The masculines are being guided and really don't understand what's going on. So they can't really answer any questions when they're still receiving. They just have this urge. And that's not enough, apparently.
we can read this different ways. We can read this as in, there's a masculine plan in here, world in his hand, and he is at, about to offer that to somebody. He is thinking logically. He knows the truth. And now he's walking towards the Two of Cups. Now this last part here is the feminine's not aware. We know what this card means. Look, she's following the path. Her emotions, see? The water. Her intuition. Choosing not to escape. Knowing. But it's frustrating, isn't it? How long do you stand there for? Then we have the moving on card here. So it could be that the masculine is actually moving towards you. Okay, leaving the darkness behind, the past behind. And you're just not aware of it. And this is about reaping what you sowed. The person I spoke to earlier said, I heard this last year. Or I was showed this last year. But she had spelt it S-O-W-E-D. And I went, yes, and you're just about to reap what you sow. And she put back, I meant <laughs> showed. And I said, no, I meant sowed. Look for the sinks. Wishes coming true. Star card. The main balance there, look. With your water and your earth. Okay, allowing it to flow. It's bringing the pentacles here with the love. So, there's no sloppy love here. It's like this is serious. <laughs> In my head, I'm singing the Wonder Pets. And there's a chick. And he goes, this is serious. <laughs> and it's been kind of a little thing that me and my daughter's been playing with, my youngest daughter. And I've actually got told off for communicating with her at school. She said, oh, can you not text me while I'm in lessons? But it's quite, it, it's serious, yeah. And um, because I've done the reading, and then she's texting me. Let me just read you her text. It's, uh, it's quite funny. Um, and she just put, um, literally, it went off in history. So she's picking up energies in the school. So she come home and told me about the fairies and this poem called The Prelude. And um, so, yeah, she's noticing, obviously, how the collective is responding. And I put, oh, my God. And I actually put hunchback trouble because we have this bit of a theory on the uh, on the hunchback of Notre Dame but, and, and all that. But we won't go into that today. That's a bit of a... And she's like, shush, please don't message me in school unless it's super important. And then she put, I'm being serious. <laughs> and I'm like, I've been told, oh, I wanted to find out what, what the lowdown was. What's going on at school, you know? So I have to wait for her to get home to tell me that. But it's like, this is serious. And this is exactly what I was saying to the feminine. I'm like, can you just please just zip? Stop wanting to know more. Can you just calm down, please? Like proper capitals. It's um reality check. This is serious. It's a cute little... There is a little clip that it's just him going, this is serious, this is serious, this is serious. I sent it to her the other day. When we was discussing something, when it's like, this is serious, listen. <coughs> Think things have got serious, okay? Anyway. Let's just raise the vibration. Let's, um, let's come back to centre. Wellbeing cards. The masculines are playing. It's like play your way to wellness, I think I said. Play your way to wellness, something like that. And that's exactly the energy. And if there are masculines out there that are, you know, suffering um, from illnesses at the moment, that's going to heal them. You have to watch the masculine reading. I'm going to use the wellness cards first.
I practice the science of deliberate creation. Giving thought to anything is creation, and giving deliberate thought to anything is deliberate creation. I actually said to this person, are you trying to put words into their mouth? Because it was all her perception of his perception. Come on, how's that work? So, as I breathe deeply, I feel myself thrive. I was thinking about the questions that are being asked, and it's like, well, does the divine masculine know why he's coming in? Does he, does he know what he's doing? It, it's like, oh, shh. Really, it was. It was like, oh, shh, please. It was tiring. Um, thriving is as natural as breathing itself. By relaxing often and breathing deeply, your natural thriving is enhanced. I'm tired today working on this energy. I'm flitting from working, feeling the masculines and then feeling the feminines. So... My purpose in life is joy. Sunflower. You sunflower. <laughs> okay. The basis of your life is freedom. The purpose of your life is joy. You are free to choose new avenues for joy. And in your joyous, joyous growth, you will add to the experience of all that is. Stand this um, vibration of joy. It's what you wanted. And you've been told it's coming. I'm selfish enough to want to feel good. Feeling good indicates your connection to clarity. You're still not believing it. I was beaming. The idea of masculines and feminines coming together, divine masculines, divine feminines. I actually kind of wanted to ask, what are you still watching? Are you watching people already in this connection? Because they're the people that I aspire to be like, have that connection. Rather than watching people that aren't in the connection. What are you going to be intending? I have been sharing them on the channel of love, on the Facebook page, I've been sharing a special connection. You have to feel it. You have to own it. Feeling good indicates your connection to clarity, wellness and an abundance in all good things. Feeling good is your most natural core belief. Now, Ask yourself why these people are putting the videos out. There's no need to. And they all talk about the special connection and the power of it. Those guys could just go off and live their happily little life on their own. But it's kind of like they woke before us. And it's like, who, who do you take your advice from? And why are these guys fighting for our connection? Yeah. Ask yourself that one. Fourteen thirty three is what I saw. It says true. Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. There's your clarity. You can read the words for yourself if you like. And uh, simplicity. Uh, put your energy into the basics. And let go of the excess. We're going to read this one. I didn't use the unicorns in the masculines reading, but they had this come up. Simple life. Calm down. 
your energies won't match. <laughs> You're gonna scare each other. They they feel it. You called them, and then you're kind of like, no, I don't want to speak now. <laughs> Oh, we've sent out the energetic call and it's like, oh no, this can't be true. Or is it too good to be true? A stories like this too good to be true? I don't know, I've been sharing them. It's like drip feeding. I feel now we're just at this point we have to deal with it, accept it. If it's your truth, it's your truth. You're going to speak that truth. There's no point keep denying that truth. It's like the masculines can't deny it anymore. Um, simplicity. This card says that things have gotten too complex for you lately. It's time to pull back and focus on what you know for sure. You don't know. Okay. What you know. Oh, sorry. Let's say that. For example. What do you really want? God, we can't bloody touch on this anymore, can we? What do you really want? What do you know that you don't want? These are the basics that will help you answer bigger questions later. There you go. What do you want? And what is it you know that you don't want? And then that's it. These are the basics that will help you answer the bigger questions later. You've also drawn this card because there's a need to clean out some part of your life whether it's your room, a closet, or a messy relationship. When you clean the space around you, your mind feels more clear and focused. Your energy also increases. This card also means that you may be trying too hard with a project. A mission, the same. You need to put your energy into the basic parts of it. Get ready. Make space. Yeah? If you... If it's coming, you better make space. Wish is coming true there, bottom of the deck. Oh, my belly's mumbling. You need to put your energy into the basic parts of it. Focus on the simple areas and the complex. Take care of itself. That means you just need to be. I love it. I'm beaming now on this one, okay. Um, you need to get your facts straight. On all of it. That's what you want to be basking in. The actual relationship now. They're out there. Um, I'm going on the Facebook page with Dove and Nicole and their reunion after being apart for 10 days. That's not what you're wanting. And twin flame truth. Um, beautiful couple. And uniquely different. Okay. It says talk about your feelings. Tell a friend how you feel. Now that says tell a friend. So... You've picked up, I picked up on the masculine's reading, maybe wanting to come with flowers, not a proposal. That doesn't mean that they don't want to be, you know, your divine partner. But it's like, there's steps, isn't there? I mean, what are you expecting? Come on, you know the journey. So, you know because you've been following it. Let's talk about your feelings. Now this is, I believe, and it says, tell a friend how you feel. Friendship first, guys. Cheerleader. Be there to listen. Just support. Otherwise, we're going back to codependency because no matter what, we're always going to be calling in our equal. Okay, that's what we're going to call in. Regardless. And as a divine feminine, you will... Of a divine masculine. That's kind of a dead cert, really, with the divine feminine. Okay? May not be the divine masculine, but you will, that you intended. But then if you intended it, it should be, shouldn't it? Unless the universe is, knows better. 
So it's like, calm down, because it will either be of equal or better, which is going to be awesome. So talk about your feelings, but that's how the kind of, yeah, the friendship card, yeah. Mm-hmm, but that's what you are, and that's pro probably what they need. Looks like I've got, what is this here? Oh, it's a hair. Like, knotty. Okay. Talk about your feelings. We'll talk about my hair. Let's read this. This card means that you've been holding some feelings inside and you need to let them out. When you talk or write about your feelings, you understand them better. Sometimes you don't know how you really feel until you begin talking. So that just really says, don't keep going over, just let it flow. It will, it will all, always does. Always does with your counterpart, flows. When you're together, so belly's rumbling in the game. Sometimes you don't know how you really feel until you begin talking. It's like breaking the ice. So it's not healthy to hold in your emotions, especially anger or sadness. Find a trusted person who will listen to you, such as a friend, family member, or a teacher. Let that person know that you need to talk and tell them what you need. For instance, if you want them to listen without giving you advice, then let them know. If you want them to comfort you, then let them know. It's about being honest now. And imagine that's what the masculine is going to come in. And it's just like, understand that his needs. That maybe he just wants you to listen and maybe just comfort you. If you don't have someone to talk to, or your feelings are so private that you don't want to share them out loud, then you can write about them. You can also silently talk to your angels or the unicorns. They'll listen to you with love and help you feel better and find answers. So I think that that's really a key for when the communication does come in. Compassion. Pets. You love and understand animals. <coughs> Why we talk about bond pets and the masculines have got the divine feminine is calling, okay? Uh, is waiting for your call. It was a mermaid holding that. I don't know what that's called. I do, but I don't. It's kind of like there on the tip of my tongue, but no, I'm not even going to guess. And she's waiting for the call. And with the wonder pets, I'm like, this is serious. But actually, what it goes, <laughs> it goes, the phone, the phone is ringing. The phone, I'll be right there. Or we'll be right there. Because there's three of them. There's an animal in trouble somewhere. I, I'm going to attach them to videos you've got to watch them. I'm not, I'm not joking, all right? All comes in for a reason, but this is serious. This is serious. The phone. The phone is ringing. You love and understand animals. Synchronisations. I'm leaving that pack alone. I'm going to look at the bottom. It says get creative. Draw, paint, think, and act in creative ways. Oh, my, over the weekend, I felt I was, I was doing art. I'd like watercolours out. I don't even know how to use watercolours. <laughs> I was creating like these masterpieces, well what I call masterpieces, I shall reveal them at some point, but uh, it's like, what can I do? Let's uh, free flow it, it's quite, it was very therapeutic, it was lovely, I just, yeah, got lost in art. Anyway, get lost in something, there you go, take your mind off it. It comes when you least expect it. And what I'm looking at is 1443. 1443. That did just say 1442. 
144,000. Whenever I see 1444, it's what it reminds me of light workers. We're here for a mission. Um, okay. I feel like I just want to end on a. I want to do a journey of love, but I can't see them. So we won't. I actually just want to do a Mother Mary card and not touch too much on the feminines. So let's see what the Mother Mary wants to say to us, okay? Being in this feminine energy. It's like, don't panic. Let's, don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> Okay, Mother Mary, let's have a card. I said about being creative, and it's come up, Our Lady of Creative Choice. Card number 10. We like that number 10. Wrapping up cycles, new ones to begin. You have my power within you, and you are free beyond wildest imagination. Do you know that you are a slave to no thing and to no one? You are a, you are a divine being. With the power of creative choice, you can create worlds. My beloved. <laughs> Even the smallest choice contains great creative power. Watch your thoughts, watch your words. Some of you don't want to speak into existence, I'm sure you don't. Um, Twin Flames Truth spoke about that on the video I shared on the Facebook page. They said they can still fuck it up. It's a sacred connection. Okay, so know your facts. We have the people on different timelines. Some of us have been in this a lot longer and this is just, you know how to centre yourself. But it's going to affect us all differently. Okay, because we all have our own stories, we all have our own journey. And um, it's unfolding. So, um, okay. Let's um, carry on reading this. Do not cast your power aside, my child. Choose to trust me to live with an open vulnerable heart, and to let my grace flood through you in rapturous waves of light. Choose wisely, creatively, and well. I've got this hair that's sticking out. I'm just going to have to push it down because it's just, and let me just tuck this because it's tickling my eye. Okay. Um, yet, do not fear your power. For the best choice you can make is to learn from all your experiences. I will guide you to use the power to create healing difference in your life now. You have at your disposal the power of heaven. I will guide you to use it well. Okay. One small stone tossed into a lake can create seemingly endless ripples. You will feel the energy. Kind of immediately. Even this is what this is what we're talking about. This is why this work's so important. So it's not really a game. It's a beautiful love, but there's other facets to it. Okay. And if you start questioning about this, that you're gonna have an abundant list of questions that we don't do. We just allow. So, okay. Um, one small stone tossed into a lake can create seemingly endless ripples. So too do our choices create an impact far greater than we might at first expect. No matter what situation is happening in your life, no matter how powerless you may feel to change it or control it, you have so much power here. If you knew how much power you had, you would laugh with relief and wonder and reverent joy. 
you would realise that you don't have to control anything or anyone in order to feel empowered. Your power doesn't come from controlling outcomes. It flows from the endless capacity to make choices. Our Lady of Creative Choice helps us when we know that the way we have been choosing to be, perhaps feeling reactive or out of control, might not be serving us anymore. You do remember how that behaviour, the impact that behaviour has. Codependency. If you're a Divine Feminine watching this, then you, we know what we're talking about. So, belly's rumbling again. It's like an agreement. So the greater are good. <laughs> so, let me just read this. Perhaps we have not felt much choice in the past. Let me read this whole bit again. It's not too much. Our Lady of Creative Choice helps us when we know that the way we have been choosing to be, perhaps feeling reactive or out of control, might not be serving us anymore. Perhaps we have not felt much choice in the past. Perhaps we might have got caught up in feeling frustrated with another or out of control in certain situations and all we felt we could do was react. Or perhaps we have become so caught up in just trying to get things done or work things out that we forgot that we get to have a say in our lives. So this oracle comes to you as a reminder and I'm really like bunged up so let me just grab a drink see if I can clear my throat. It's like cry, write down your feelings, but just remember the truth. So, this oracle comes to you as a reminder. You have the power of heaven within you. You don't need to control life, beloved, but you can choose whether you dance with life responsibly or resist its flow and feel pushed around by it instead. Through paying attention to what is happening for you in the moment, whether that be feelings of happiness or sadness, a feeling of letting go or moving on or staying put and learning something, you can then make a choice about how you wish to respond. Your responses to your life circumstances are your choices to make and a source of great power within. Really struggling to clear. Okay, it's my sinuses. You can receive any visitor into your home with a welcoming smile or a bellow of rage. A laugh or a clear directive to move on. This is always your choice and the right choice will be what feels right for you in any given moment. A smile might feel right one day and the rage feels right in another situation on another day. It is always your choice and your choice creates a pattern of energy that interacts with what is creatively igniting change. So at the moment we are creatively igniting change. Okay, and it has an impact. It says that your choice creates a pattern of energy that interacts with what is. You don't have to control it or foresee it. You just need to remember to choose creatively. And most importantly of all, with honesty. How you wish to be. Our Lady of Creative Choice comes to you in this oracle with a special message. There is a situation in your life where you are contemplating making a decision. Perhaps it is even a bold choice and you are not sure about it. You are encouraged to be bold and to give yourself permission to choose whatever feels most authentic to you. If you are stuck in a situation and don't believe that you have a choice, this oracle brings you this particular message. You have a choice available here, but you must surrender your way of looking at the situation to the Divine Mother and allow a new perspective and therefore more options to become available to you. 
there is always a creative way forward available. Sometimes we need prayer to help us become more flexible and receptive to access that solution. The following healing process will help you rediscover your power of creative choice, even in that challenging situation through the divine intervention of the Holy Mother Mary. So it's like if you're uncertain what to do, okay, go with him for your answers. So, healing process and affirmation. You stand in a rich landscape with a vivid orange sunset. At your feet there extends a beautiful blue lake. On the ground around your feet there are wide flat stones carved with different words on each one, just like the words in this list. Courage, kindness, playfulness, honesty, peace, letting go, surrender, trust, faith, happiness, moving on, standing strong, blessings, miracle, confidence, yes, I am, integrity, truth, and me. Reach down and pick up whatever stone or stones you feel most drawn to, whether you see the words on them or not. Perhaps you notice the colour of the stone, or perhaps you sense a word upon the stone, or perhaps not. Stand quietly by the lake, and when you are ready, say the following prayer aloud or quietly in your mind. I call upon Mother Mary, our lady of creative choice, who loves me unconditionally. Thank you for reminding me of my own creative divine power of choice. I exercise my power of choice now. I ask you to bless me and encourage me to be creative and conscious with my choices so that my path unfolds in the most glorious and wonderful way possible. So be it. Gently or with great enthusiasm if you prefer, Toss your stone or stones into the lake. I say do it with joy, okay? You may wish to do this one at a time or all at once. Notice the ripples that flow and know that you have made some good creative choices now. It's like send it out. It's an opportunity for you to send it out. They're keywords. Okay. Stand in your power. Gently, oh no, we wrote, uh, we've um, wrote, we read that part. Stay watching those ripples as they expand outwards towards the farthest reaches of the lake. The orange sunset it spoke of, it's the only card that really screams the orange. With a fly buzzing around. Gently or with great enthusiasm, if you prefer, toss your stone or stones into the lake. You may wish to do this one at a time or all at once. Notice the ripples that flow and know that you have made some good creative choices now. Stay watching those ripples as they expand outwards towards the farthest reaches of the lake. Complete this healing process with the following affirmation. I fully own my power of creative choice under the blessings and guidance of the Divine Mother I am able to think outside of the box and make instinctive, intuitive choices that help me create life experiences that enrich my soul and fulfil my heart. Gratitude, gratitude to Our Lady of Creative Choice who is with me now, reminding me of my innate power and helping me remember to play with life. I pray for her miraculous intervention that my choices be empowered and divinely inspired now. So be it. Well, I'm glad, glad, I'm glad, I can't even, I don't even know what accent I'm using today. I'm like, anyway. Um, that makes me want to talk about light language with you. I realised I've been speaking light language all my life. I just thought it was like gibberish. And um, <laughs> I was doing it early on. It's like, don't look in the mirror. You, sleep. <laughs> you freak yourself out. It was like, oh, I used to do it with a friend and she's absolutely fascinated by it. And it just flows. And it's like, 
And I said to her, what happened? And she said, well, we were standing under the moon. We were discussing some stuff. I was like, okay, you got that from that? So um, this was a um, year ago, maybe. And um, it's like tapping into a light language. It's like it doesn't make any sense, but it does. Anyway, I was doing that earlier. I wanted to end on a uh, postcard from Spirit because it mentioned access to the heavens. Something it mentioned, something about the power of the heavens. And it made me want to pull a, um, a message, postcard from Spirit. So celebrate life. Dear you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other days are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings for today is leap time. Remember that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it, it may feel like even if it may feel like you are in free flow, we are here for you. And you and you can stop freaking out. <laughs> Definitely the energy for the divine feminines. Come on. You can <laughs> even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you. And you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place. You knew they had to be. It's the world card. It's the destiny card. Got all the four elements in place. I'm speaking about it on my readings. Okay. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you are asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly, right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage. Embrace it. I don't know. A few times during that reading, I'm not going to lie to you. There may be some of you that need to reach out to your masculine and that's the right thing to do. And I think that I don't know what to say to the feminines that are like, that isn't the right thing for me to do. Um... Because that's probably pointing out about going within. The masculine's reading come up that they're, that they're going to be the ones. But there are some feminines that refuse to see that they're in the masculine energy. And I know that because these feminines get very angry at me when I point out that they're actually experiencing more dominantly the masculine energy. Like, they're the ones with the karma. They're the ones who are still attached. They're the ones that still have stuff. They're not free. They're not independently, no one holding them back. That's the masculine's energy, really. The feminine's energy will be already self-sufficient, independent, and really more of the not doubting. So we have a lot of feminines, a lot of feminines. I can, off the top of my head, I know three feminines, personally, who I get to speak to a lot, who are experiencing the masculine's situation. And probably more, that's just quickly, that I know straight away. Mm-hmm. And they want to address themselves as a feminine, which is fine. We, we swap, but we tend to have a predominant side. And it's the masculine just last to do the clearing. Now, really both not being aware of each other's situation, just really what they can, what they're perceiving to be, rather than what instinctively they know I hope this is touching on something because there's a bit of a do you contact your masculine or do you wait for your masculine to contact you it depends who's the masculine
and I do want to say that the feminine is the person that's always felt the love, that hasn't ran from the love. Who saw, awoke first. Or who recognised the connection, I'm going to say. That's gonna, what I'm going to say is the feminine energy. Because the masculines I know, it, in the feminine body, have had their masculines come to them, they've rejected them. Are you with me? Okay. But you're going to call yourself a feminine, which is, you are. You're just on the opposite side of the... <laughs> You've just already got a man that's besotted in you. But you already know that. So have a look and think about who is it that needs to make the contact. And you will know. You will know who will be the one. So I wanted to clear that up because I felt that that was just such a mixed message because I've just done a reading on the masculines. Okay. And I didn't get any hint that it was feminines reaching out to them because this is their lesson. Not lesson, well it is. It's facing a fear. And um, opening up to intuition, hearing the calling, having the urge, um, facing judgment. So, okay. I'll leave it like that. I don't, that didn't confuse you. I know that didn't. Okay. And if you're confused, then go within. But this is serious. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, oh, happy days going to be interesting okay take care guys and um i'll speak to you soon i just saw it as five two two five but um okay i'm going take care we'll catch up soon bye for now